Hi, I'm Damien Sapien Dante, Senior Sales Engineer for Open Gear, and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to apply an initial network configuration to the Lighthouse Centralized Access and Management Tool. As you might already know, Lighthouse is delivered as a fully self-contained virtual appliance that can be deployed simply and quickly into your preferred hypervisor environment. On premises that includes support for VMware, Hyper-V, VirtualBox, or KVM, in a self-managed cloud environment, it can be deployed into AWS as an EC2 instance or into Microsoft Azure. So once you have Lighthouse installed, the first step is to access the CLI via virtual console. Now, as you can see, I'm using VMware for purposes of this video, but regardless of which virtual environment you're using, you should have similar access to a virtual console. So I am going to log in as the root user using the root password that I configured during the initial install and it's going to drop me right to the command prompt here. I'm going to zoom in to hopefully give you a better view uh, but keep in mind this is a brand new install of Lighthouse in its default state so I'm going to use a convenient network setup script called OG set network sh and I'm going to type in help here to give me a listing of all of the options that are available as well as example syntax and you'll notice that not only can you configure the IP address but also the net mask the gateway and DNS servers in a single string I'm gonna paste in the syntax for my specific network settings and press enter and you'll see it will indicate that the change was successful and if I want to verify I can simply run ifconfig and grep the IP address that I just assigned to the network interface and it's going to verify that my network is now set with the configuration that I just specified. So now that the network interface is configured you can go ahead and connect to the Lighthouse web user interface for the first time by opening up your preferred browser and establishing a HTTPS connection to the IP address that you just assigned. Uh, depending on which browser you're using you may get a security risk notification like this one uh, where in most cases you can just accept the risk and continue uh, but at some point you may want to consider installing a sign certificate to secure this connection permanently uh, I'm going to sign in as the root user and it's going to log me in and land on the dashboard of the web UI at this point I'm going to navigate to the network interfaces page by clicking on settings network connections network interfaces and you'll notice on this page there is a listing of default network connections including the IPv4 static interface that we just configured along with an IPv4 DHCP interface and an IPv6 interface to edit the interfaces you simply click on the pencil icon here on the right and you'll be taken to the configuration page of that interface You'll notice that all of the values that we applied using the OG set network script are present with the ability to make any necessary changes and then click apply to save the configuration and return to the network interfaces page. This concludes the demonstration. I'd like to thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions about this or any other tech related subjects or need additional resources such as sales or support, please visit opengear.com.